Hello and welcome to another episode of Japanese Snack Reviews. Now, just off the bat, just to say I am changing up the naming formula for these episodes somewhat, uh, just because this is going to contain snacks from the November, December and January uh, crates, along with that surprise crate I got, the like, lucky bag thing, um, because they don't really fit into any one month, I'm just going to use a you know numbering system. Anyway, as you can see in front of us, our first snack for the day is Puku Puku Tai, and this is Chioko, or chocolate. Uh, so these are kind of, essentially they're biscuit versions of Taiyaki. Uh, so Taiyaki are kind of baked fish pastries, basically, in Japan, where they're, they're filled with either like red bean or chocolate or mint or whatever. So these are kind of biscuity versions. Um, I think I may have reviewed one of these like years ago um, in an old Japanese snack reviews. So uh, yeah, as you can see, it looks like a fish. It's kind of that, uh, you know, airy biscuity thing. So I'm gonna go take a bite out of its tail. I'm gonna save it the pain of eating its head last. Hmm, you know, these are pretty nice. Um, I will say, the one sort of downside, they are a tiny bit dry. Uh, as you can see, the biscuit is kind of thick. Um, and whilst the chocolate mousse is nice, it is quite airy. So you don't get a massive amount of chocolate with every bite. It's kind of, uh, you know, you get a hint of chocolate. It's a nice, like, satisfying crunch to it. The only downside is, obviously, um, it is a bit dry. But, I mean... It's, it's quite a fun little novelty. Uh, so it's a nice little snack. I do like things that look like other things that aren't actually what they taste like. A fish taste, a fish flavoured taiyaki or puku puku tai would be very strange. Um, yeah, anyway, you know, if you see them and you're curious, give them a go. But I, I personally, they're alright, but I'm not a massive fan. Uh, right, anyway, on to the next snack. It's time to get sour. It is sour paper cider flavour. Now, I think I might have reviewed one of these in a previous video, the cola flavour, I want to say. Um, they are, well, we'll see in a second, but they are long sweets. I've, I've not opened this well. But let's see, is it blue? I'm assuming it's going to be blue in colour. Uh, so, sort of, more like green, clear green. But yeah, so it's kind of a, a long... You, you've had one of these before, I'm sure. Uh, right, let's take a bite. Hmm, that was pretty nice. Thinking of, I think it might have been grape flavour I had in a previous grape. It's um, much like the grape one. It's sour, but very, very slightly. And the kind of sugar crystals, or well, the sour sugar crystals, kind of give you a sour kick, but... For the most part, it's actually kind of sweet. Um, it's really nice though, it's got quite a rich flavour. Um, it's not just your generic kind of apple flavour or whatever. It's, uh, I mean, it's more like Ramune than anything, but yeah, honestly, it's quite a thick um, piece of like gummy stuff. And yeah, the, the flavour lasts for a while, even now, while talking, I can still quite strongly taste the cider flavour, so pretty darn good actually. Sour paper uh, continues to impress me. Right, on to the next snack. It is Gaburi Chew. Um, I don't think I've ever had these before. So this is the Gaburi Chew Mini, and it's obviously cola flavoured. So that's definitely got me excited already. And it's in a resealable pouch, which I always appreciate. Um, ooh, okay. So they're kind of... They look a bit like jelly beans, to be honest. They're kind of hard outer shell, and I think they've got, you know, flavourings inside. Right, I'm going to try one. That was pretty nice. Um, yeah, they are a lot like jelly beans. Honestly, I, I'd describe them as cola flavour jelly beans more than anything. They're a lot softer than I anticipated as well. They are hard, like, when you touch them. But they don't have, like, a crunchy outer shell, as I was expecting. But yeah. That's pretty nice, actually. Um, and as I said, with the resealable pouch as well, you can just pop one or two in your mouth and they'll probably last for quite some time. They're not bad. The flavour's not super strong. It does taste of cola, but it's not super strong. You, you can kind of taste it. Um, but yeah, these are nice little, you know, mini kind of sugar boosts or something. 
Uh, right, on to the next snack. All right, it's time for some Kit Kat. So this is the chestnut flavor. Uh, this is from the December Japan Crypt, obviously chestnuts, because they're popular for roasting on an open fire. I, I don't know how safe that is, actually, because I imagine they're quite flammable, right? Uh, but that is the packaging. we got some chestnuts there. It's not focusing, and now it is. All right. So, <clears throat> I'm guessing this is going to be white chocolate. 90% of them are. I think... I want to say, was it the mint that wasn't white chocolate? Why is this? That was very difficult to open. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break it in half. Kito Katsu, good luck, let's take a bite. All right, so um, I just realized when eating this, I don't think I've ever really tasted chestnuts. I may have had one or two when I was very young, but I don't remember the taste. Um, so I had the whole the the whole half of the Kit Kat there, because at the first bite it was like, oh, I can just taste like white chocolate. And honestly, maybe it's just me. Maybe my palate's not refined enough. I can't taste any chestnut there. Um, nothing tastes nutty at all. Um, it's just like white chocolate and a bit sugary and a bit sweet. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I didn't taste any nut. Um, that, that was a poor choice of words, but yeah, that, I mean, the white chocolate's really nice, it's a Kit Kat, you can't go wrong with a Kit Kat, really, even a bad Kit Kat is a pretty decent biscuit, so, uh, that was nice, just, yeah, not, not tasting the chestnut at all. Anyway, on to the next snack. It's time for some Roru candy. Uh, this is the green apple flavour, it's got 60%, um, I'm guessing 60% apple juice or something. Um, chances are, you've probably had something like this before. In the UK, they, uh, we had a popular brand called Winders. Uh, I know, I think, I want to say Fruit by the Foot was in the US, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below if I am. Uh, but we have a kind of rolled up fruit thing. Um, so I'm not going to unroll all of it because, I mean, you guys can tell there's loads of it there. But th there's no there's no real point of unrolling all of it on video. However, I'm going to peel some off. Uh, seems a decent amount. I will tear it. Oh, good lord. There you go. Ha ha. And... Let's have some gooey green uh, can. I won't say licorice, but it's not licorice at all, is it? It's like candy stuff. Ooh, I like the reflection. Anyway, let's taste it. Hmm, that is really pleasant, actually. So, the Winders I mentioned, uh, the UK kind of version of this, it was always very, very thin. Like, you could literally roll it up, all of it, into a bowl, and it would, like, dissolve in your mouth in sort of a minute or something. That has a bit of thickness to it. It's kind of interesting, like you can actually chew this a little bit. Um, in terms of the apple flavour, it's a little bit... It's a little bit mild. It's not like super strong, and I quite like that. Um, and yeah, it's got quite a pleasant, like, feeling to it, if that makes sense. Like, it does feel like you're actually chewing something and not just a bunch of, like, dissolve -y sugar things. Yeah, not bad. I think I may have had one of these, like, years ago, or maybe in a previous crate. I can't remember. But either way, honestly, this is quite nice. I'm not wild on, like, apple flavour sweets. I'm more of a grape slash cola kind of guy. But honestly, yeah, the apple taste is, it is there. It's quite nice, to be fair. Uh, right, let's move on to the next snack. Okay, it is time for some Ginza Rusk. So these are chocolate flavour, as you can kind of tell from the colour here. Um, I think someone left a comment on one of the videos when I opened this up saying that these are very nice. I want to say, I think I had Ginza Rusk years ago and it was like strawberry chocolate flavour? Or it might have just been chocolate. But apparently it doesn't melt and other stuff. So it's kind of like a rusk, like a rice kind of thing, covered in thick chocolate. Let's give it a try. That is really nice. So they're kind of um, kind of like rice blocks, if that makes sense, like puffed rice or whatever. It's a bit crunchy. They're, they're kind of airy, but you know, there's still a lot to chew. And honestly, the chocolate 
is very impressive. It it doesn't, well, I mean, they're covered in chocolate, but it doesn't look like it's going to be super chocolatey. But after one or two, you can really taste it. It's um, it's kind of dark chocolate. I don't know, it might be milk chocolate, but it's definitely got that kick of dark chocolate. So it's either a blend or dark, just dark chocolate. But yeah, honestly, these are really nice. And again, I like that they're resealable because I don't think I'm going to eat the whole thing in one go. Um, although they are incredibly Moorish, so who knows. Right, on to the next thing. Alright, it is time for some yoghurt candy. So there he is, uh, the nice little yoghurt bacteria man. So apparently these candies have live bacteria in them. Uh, as in like, gut bacteria. I like the, the, the good kind, not the I dropped something on the floor kind. Ooh. So it's kind of translucent. Uh, very interesting, and there is yoghurt flavour, so let's give it a go. Alright, that one took a while. Um, it's kind of like a hard candy kind of thing that you suck over several, you know, minutes or whatever. I wouldn't say it exactly tasted of yoghurt, but it tasted a little bit kind of dairy-esque, I guess. It, it does taste a bit sort of milk, yoghurt, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it wasn't bad. It was... It did sort of lose a bit of flavour at the end. Uh, I can't say much about the bacteria. I'm sure it's doing its work in my stomach or it's going to end me up in the hospital. Either way, uh, it was it was fine. I wouldn't buy these personally, but, you know, if they come in another crate, I will, of course, have some more. But yeah, not bad. On to the last snack of the video. Are you ready for a long chew? This is the wrong way already. This is Long Chew Cora Flavour. Also, I noticed something on the packaging. Um, they've written Long Chew in English, but it's Long Che. So, I don't know if you can see the end of, um, like, Ong Che, C-H-E. Um, and you can see it kind of all over the packaging that it seems to just be Long Che with no uh, W. Which is interesting. I guess it makes sense because maybe to, you know, the creators of this, they just didn't think that U or W is a letter in itself. Right, let's open this up. So, there we go. Ooh, that was not the colour I was expecting there. I thought it would be brown because it's, it's cooler. Right, well, this is very long. I don't know how long exactly, but... I'm going to go have a chew of Long Chew. Man, that lived up to the lo name Long Chew in both senses. It is very long. Also, it's quite chewy, to be honest. Um, it is a solid stick of chewy candy, basically. The cola flavour isn't super, super strong. But it is there, and it is generally quite pleasant. It's... Um, it tastes a little li little less artificial than other cola like sweets I've had before. So I'll give them kudos for that. And honestly, this stick is so long that I'm not even sure I'm going to eat all of it in one go. I may just like break it in two or something cuz this will last you ages if you eat the entire thing, but you know, hey, if it's a treat or something, absolutely go ahead. But right, that wraps up another video of Japanese snack reviews. It has been fun. Um, sorry it's been so long since the last one. I've kind of mixed this together with some of the older footage I had. The reason I didn't put out my older uh, Japanese snack reviews for the October crate is I lost some of the footage. Um, I kind of deleted stuff on my camera and then realised too late, basically, that I deleted like half of the things I filmed. I think I got one or two things in there though that might be interesting, so hopefully you enjoyed. I will be making more of course because I've had loads of crates since the last episode of this, so I mean I've got loads of snacks still to go, so stay tuned for that. I will of course be doing Japanese um, Japan crate openings when they arrive as well, so you know, stay tuned for that as well I guess. And I'll let you get on now, thank you guys very much for watching and until next time, goodbye!